Hey, let's continue. This is passages, uh, passages one, unit one, but this is lesson B, okay? Every family is different. So let's start with this. What's your family like? So we need to look at the families in the pictures. What's different about each type of family? Let's see. So we have the Watsons. The Watsons, they are from Sydney. Okay, my wife and I both work now, and the extra money is great. The only trouble with being a two-income family is we don't spend as much, much time together. Wow. What about the Wands, Vancouver? We are an extended family. Now the grandma has moved in. The big advantage of having her at home is that she can babysit more often. Hmm. That's great. So you, you don't need to pay to a babysitter, babysitter, right? That's good. That's good. Okay, so the paddles from London. We're, we're a, a typical nuclear family. Wow, nuclear family. It's just my sister, my parents, and me. The only bad thing about living in our house is there's only one bathroom, so you need to to have another one. So I think one bathroom is not enough for a family. And, you know, when you have teenagers and that kind of stuff, that's kind of crazy. So what are some advantages and disadvantages of each type of family in Part A? Compare ideas. For example, in a nuclear family, you might not see your grandparents every day. That's a disadvantage. Okay, write down in the comment section below about advantages or disadvantages okay okay now listening and speaking how are their families different okay let's listen and complete this we need to match the people on the left with the phrases on the right part b listen again match the people on the left with the phrases on the right so, Andrea, I heard you're staying with your in-laws for the holidays. Well, yeah. We leave tomorrow afternoon. How about you, Paul? Actually, I still live with my parents, so I don't have to go anywhere. You know, you don't sound very excited about your trip. I guess I'm just a little nervous. The whole time I was growing up, it was just me and my mom and dad. It was quiet around the house. Very quiet. But my husband's family is huge. I mean, there are so many people. Wow. How many? Well, he grew up in an extended family. So there were his parents and his grandparents, and his younger sister and his two younger brothers. No, wait. Three younger brothers, all under one roof. So that's what? Nine total? Wow. What do they all do? Oh, let me think. My sister-in-law, she's the youngest, maybe 20 or 21. She's a law student here in Chicago. And the oldest brother-in-law is a musician in New York. The other brothers are a lawyer and a teacher, I think. We haven't been married long, so I don't know them that well, you know? But they all seem very nice and friendly. So how about you? How big is your family? Well, when I was a kid, our family was a lot like your in-laws. It was me, my parents, my older sister and brother, and my grandparents, too. But both my grandparents passed away a while ago, unfortunately. So it's just the five of us now. Are your sister and brother coming in for the holidays? Yeah, they're coming with their families. My sister and her husband live near Boston. They have two little girls. Then my brother and his wife and their three kids will come over as well. My brother's a doctor here in Chicago. It'll be great. We love getting together. So that's how many people is that? Uh, 12, I think. Wow, that's even more than my in-laws. Yeah, the hard part about it is my mom has to cook so much food. Of course, the great thing about having a big family is that there are a lot of people to help her. Okay, so Andrea, number one, you know, Andrea uh, doesn't know her in-laws very well. Okay, very well. So, in-laws indicates a relationship by marriage rather than blood. 
like example, sister-in-law, you know, brother-in-law, and you know, so more. Number two, Andrea's husband has three brothers. Andrea's sister-in-law is a low student. Paul's sister has two daughters. Paul D. It's looking forward to seeing their family. Paul's mother will be cooking for 12 people. Okay. Okay, let's move on to grammar. Grammar, noun classes after B. A noun classes is a part of a sentences, sentence with a subject and a pr predicate that functions as a noun. That, in this case, is optional in now clauses have to be. Also notice the preposition followed by gerunds in the first part of the sentences. The only trouble with preposition being a two-income family is that we don't spend as much time together, or you can only say is we don't spend as much time together. The big advantage of having grandma at home is that she can babysit more often or is she can babysit more often. So for more detail, please go to Grammar Plus on um, page 107, 107, okay? Okay, discussion, family matters. Choose at least three questions you like to talk about with your group. So what's the best thing about spending time with your family? What's the, ro the worst thing? Okay, what's one advantage of having a close family? What are some rules that people have to follow in your family? What's a benefit of having strict parents? Are you most likely to confine in a parent, a sibling, or a friend? Do you believe mothers and fathers should do the same chores? What are the advantages or oh, and disadvantages of having a two-income family? So now group work. Discuss the questions with your partner. Okay, vocabulary, compound family terms. Match the family members on the left with the definitions on the right. Okay, so number one, your great aunt is your mother's or father's aunt your great your granddaughter is your son's or daughter's daughter right number three your sister-in-law is d your wife's or husband's sister or your brother's wife okay number four your great grandmother is your father's or mother's grandmother Okay, so which of the family members in this box, in the box, can be com combined with a prefix or suffix in the chart? Complete the chart with the partner. What does each term mean? For example, great aunt. Okay, let's see the others. Okay, so here we have great, okay, great, great aunt, great nephew, great niece, great uncle, right? So your, your great nephew is your brother's or sister's grandson, okay? So we have granddaughter, grand aunt, grandfather, grandmother, grandnephew, grandniece, right? Great grandmother, great grandfather, great granddaughter, great grandson. In law, we have brother-in-law, sister-in-law, father-in-law, mother-in-law, okay? All right. So let's finish with this listening family reunion. So let's listen. Page eight, exercise six, family reunion, part A. Listen to Victor tell a friend about his family reunion. What were they celebrating at the reunion? Hey, Victor, you're back in town. So how did it go? Oh, it was great. I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy it, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. Was your grandmother surprised? Completely. She knew we'd do something special for her 80th birthday, 
but she never expected that the whole family would turn up for a reunion. How many people were there? Lots. I'd say about 60 or so. Folks showed up from all over the place. We had people from Texas, Illinois, Florida, California, and even Mexico. I got to see people I hadn't seen for years, like Luann, my uncle's cousin. Actually, I don't think I've seen her since I was a little kid. Oh, and my brother Rudy was there with his wife and their new baby, Grandma's first great-granddaughter. That sounds like fun. So was there anyone there you didn't recognize? Yeah, but that was okay because as soon as we got there, we each got a name tag showing how we were related to Grandma. Like mine said, Victor, Anita's grandson, Hector's son. That's a cool idea. So you could immediately see how you were related to someone. Yeah, most people have changed a lot over the years. Plus, my mother-in-law came along because she hadn't seen any of these people since our wedding. So the name tags worked out really well. So were there other people at the reunion who weren't directly related to your grandmother? Oh, sure. There were quite a few people who weren't directly related to her, like some in-laws, neighbors, friends of the family. But their name tags said who they were and what the connection was. Sounds like it must have been a lot of fun. I bet your grandmother was happy. Yeah, really happy. So... So what were they celebrating at the reunion? Reunion, sorry. They were celebrating Victor's grandmother's 80th birthday. Wow. That's a lot of years. 80th birthday. Okay, so now let's complete let's complete exercise B. Okay, so uh let's let the people mention it. So he mentioned his uncles cousin, his brother, his sister-in-law, his niece, his mother-in-law, right? And friends of the family. Okay, I think that's all for today, guys. So uh, our next uh, class is going to be Unit 2. Okay, so thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please share with your friends. Share share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time.